Well, hello guys and welcome back to another video of FTB Infinity. And last episode we finished all the AE things that we need to have automated. And in today's episode, I would like to actually move all those machines uh, to our new base because... Uh, in some point we want to unchunk load this area and have everything in our new base so what we are having here we actually have like a lot of stuff and uh, most of this is actually on demand things that we want to be crafted but there are some recipes like pulverize something and copper those stuff so yeah we actually want to move everything from here to our new base so I think we oh there's still some iron going uh, well let's stop this and let's turn on my magnet let's stop this and we want to have the well I think the iron and gold we can keep going so well let's head to our new base and uh, I will show you what I've done so if we go down here I prepared this room uh, it's not finished yet and yes those blocks hurt you uh, it's not finished yet I try to lay out some machines so we can actually have like an idea of what this room is going to look like and how we want to lay out all those machines so I tried this with all those patterns in here so we can head craft it and this is those are the sag mills so for those sag mills we actually want uh have the interface going in oh well i guess we need to we want to have Oh yeah, I can put those interfaces like this, yeah. So we want those interfaces go in and for those interfaces we need to set it up. Not like that, one, two, three, same thing here, one, two, three, same thing here. And uh, this should be now pulling and pushing all the items in. So, is it pulling and pushing? Yeah. So, we want gold to be processed. Oh, we do not have any gold. That's actually good. That's actually a good sign. But we've got iron. We've got loads of it. So, we want iron to be processed automatically. Uh, then, we want coal. Yes, we want coal. Like so. And I guess we can... Add like here. Go. And we need some gold. So, I guess we can bro break those blocks. And... have some gold from those dense blocks because we are not going to use them anyway so we can break those and yes we've got enough gold so we want gold then what else we want to be processed or so we want copper 
I guess. Uh, then we won't automatically process no appetite, no. Uh, lead ore for sure. Oh, we've got diamond ore. We've got lots of diamonds. Um, what else is here? It's tin ore and silver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven of those items that we want to process, but we've got only one, two, three, four, five. You've got only five of those. So if we would replace no we cannot replace that. We definitely cannot. That's a bad thing. That's actually still a bad thing. Uh I guess we can extend those. Um it's sag mail. I've actually crafted the patterns for those, so no problem. If we would need more, we can have all those machines in the world that we can. So let's put it like this and let's set it up. One, two, three. And this, one, two, three. So now we can put a goal. Then we want the iron, and here we want a gold, a copper, a lead, tin, and last one, the silver. So all those items will be processed automatically, and now we can grab some cables and connect all those machines together so let's get some cables and uh, I don't know what color we are going to use yeah I guess we will use the black one yes this one or what we have for spare We've got line two, and line two is this one. So we could use the line one, or we can use the black one. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, but those are only the segments, and uh, we want more of them. So I guess we'll have another row of the segments and let's just clear our inventory and still let's grab some log that we can use and put it like here we actually want a lot more of those segments right here uh, because we of course need uh, for example the silicon and let's see silicon it's right here and the crafting recipe for it is from a sand of course we want a sand so the crafting recipe for sand is like this with a cobblestone so we definitely want a sand so there's like a lot more things that we want to process uh, for example the uranium and the yellow room or we want to process that uh, we want to process um, let's see what else is here uh, those ender pearls of course uh, we want to process a lot a lot of more things uh, we do not want this because we'll actually build uh, the fortune machine for it and uh, yeah I guess oh tin you've got tin uh, yeah but here's a lot of things that we actually want to process uh, for example the obsidian 
and a lot more a lot more ores uh glowstone we don't want uh maybe the clay sometime um so yeah as you can see we will need a lot more so we will for this actually have it differently um we want to have the push here and pull from here and bus let's take an export bus and we will have all those export buses like this and the reason why i want to use those export buses is because we don't want like process all of our cobblestone in this machine and make a sand uh, we don't want to do that so now we can take those interfaces those will be the push um, so push and pull so from here we'll actually be pulling items in those machines and we'll be pushing it back and the reason why is because we can use the redstone card uh, and the redstone signal emitter or whatever it's called from the AI so we can control how many items we will be crafting like for example we can say the system that if there's less than i don't know maybe one million of sand craft some sand and if there's like maybe under one uh one hundred uh thousand of the silicon craft some silicon and we can actually craft a lot of stuff with this uh, on demand so uh i will see what items we want to process and uh, yeah right here we will put some of those alloy smelters and we don't have any so maybe like okay that's overkill maybe like 20 those so we want to put it right here and we want a normal interface for this and the reason why i'm using normal interface because I want all those alloy smelters to kind of divide uh, divide this uh, you know just divide all those materials that will be smelted in those alloy smelters that's the reason oh and I put it wrong I put it wrong okay so once again um, because I want to is it like that or not oh that's not good oh I guess we can just oh that's actually not good okay so I guess we won't have here too many of those because we are not using the interfaces but uh, let's put it like that, like that, and like so. Oh yeah, and here's the interface and the rest of those alloy smelters. So now we can have all those items that we actually processed be smelted in those alloy smelters and for example we want to smell the iron so here we'll have the iron dust uh the pulverized iron so we will have this in here and all the iron will actually come here and be smelted in those in those items uh, in those smelt smelters so uh, there's a lot more things actually that we want to have for example if we take a look back to our base 
we also want uh, some maybe pulverizers I'm not sure about this yet but we want induction smelter and of course we want this magma crucible with the fluid transporters so uh, let's see let's craft some uh, it's essence so we want some tanks Yeah, like that, and uh, we can get it. go back to our base, and we want to get some uh, fluid fluid transpo transposers, and I guess we will have like maybe seven of those. Let's craft five for now oh we do not have recipe for a bucket and do not lock there there's spoiler alert uh, yes this is off so we want the bucket I totally forgot to craft the bucket so let's put it I guess right here and now we can go back and fluid transposers let's grab five of those start and it's crafting and we want magma crucible and we want five of those too what we are missing invar gear i do not have a recipe for invar gear again okay so let's craft some invar gear okay like so and we oh I forgot to put it into our system so we want to craft an invar gear yeah I didn't have it. So we want the um, magma crucible. We want five dose. Next start. Okay. So right now, uh, we hopefully have the fluid fluid transposer. Uh, fluid. Okay. So what's Oh, it's crafting signalum ink. Oh, do did I actually remove the pattern for it or not? Energetic. I like no. So it actually should be crafting. Uh, it's crafting eight of those. Well, let's check what's the problem. What's the problem with it? Well, I guess there's no problem. It's actually crafting, but it's real slow. And here you can see why I want to have like multiple of those alloy smelters in for one interface because this is like really, real slow. It's taking a lot of time to craft actually something so. Let's head back to our base room and uh, let's see. Louis, do I have at least one? Oh, it will be crafting electrum in good. Okay, so let me actually wait for those materials to be crafted and I will be right back. Right, guys, so I crafted up all those magma crucibles and those fluid transposers and uh, I've got a few more a uh, few more to wait for oh uh, yeah it's still crafting uh, it's still crafting uh, never mind we can now focus on those machines so uh, what we want to have here is we want to have a redstone Glowstone, Enderpearls, and uh, 
Uh, this well dust. Uh, let me just see if I can find it. Oh no. Gra oh yeah, this. Um, this cryothium, cryothium, uh, just this dust, uh, because we can then use this dust to this thing, and we can have this sign bar. Uh, of course, we can craft those pipes uh, that I'm actually looking for, uh, because we want a uh, good source of energy but we want this the cinnabar because if we um, if we are about to put first ore into the induction smelter then we can easily have this shiny ingot and those shiny ingots are actually like pain, pain in the ass to get uh, because if we take a look, shiny, shiny ingot, yes, uh, if we take a look, uh, we can craft one with shiny ore, and I don't actually know where to get the shiny ore, or we can have it from, yeah, we can have it like this, but, 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 uh, we can have it from the first ore and actually if you put uh, the first ore without the cinnabar there uh, you actually have not very much chance like I guess it's like a 10% chance to actually get that uh, only so yeah we want those four to be so uh, this will be a redstone and redstone, this will be the uh, ender, liquefied ender. Uh, those will be for glowstone and let's just see. Uh, no fluid, yes we've got those and magma crucibles. So fluid transposers, uh, like that. Nope. I want this and two more like so bam bam and we are ready to rock so uh, we want to wire this all up and uh, maybe I will actually put a lot more of those segments and uh, those uh, those waters uh, I should say, are here because we actually will be adding a lot more all those alloy smelters. Because if we want to smelt something, I would like to have like only one or two maximal uh, recipe in one interface. Uh, why is that? Because if I'm crafting something and I need something quickly, uh, if I have a lot of those recipes or those patterns in the enter in the interface. Uh, I will actually have trouble, so I need actually to have uh, quick access to all those materials, so that's why uh, we are going to have like one maximum two patterns in those segments or alloy smelters or whatever is this. So what we want to do now, I will actually cut here and I will put a lot more of those um, alloy smelters in here and uh, maybe I will put some of uh, the uh, let me see how they are called uh, the induction smelters in the induction smelters yeah we want a lot of those induction smelters so uh, like maybe one or two three five uh, I don't know how many but uh, I will place, put all those uh, things in a place. And of course, we uh, also want those things like uh, we have in our base. So let's go here. So we want those uh, 
uh, snowballs to be made uh, maybe the snow I'm not sure for the snow uh, maybe the ice and we want this the cobblestone stone or uh, the obsidian to actually be in our base and we have the, here the induction smelter so if we take a look how many recipes we've got for this induction smelter oh we do not have any recipes right oh no we have we have recipes so it's hardened glass and rainforest reinforced refined iron ingot so we want all those in our system and right here we have lead ingot yeah yeah basically uh we we are going to have all things that we want to automatically to be processed uh, in our base in our new base so i will be working on that right now and uh I will fill all those machines in and I will be right back for you to see how I will actually wire the thing because wiring all this up will be actually kind of a uh, hard job there's a lot of space yeah I actually put a lot of space between those machines but wiring those thermal expansion machines is not the easiest thing uh, that you want to do so I will be right back Alright guys, so I wired in those first machines, they are actually very easy to be wired in and uh, the reason, for example, why I will have four of these as you can see, here we have 16 ender pearls and those ender pearls are, are kind of bottleneck for those machines and as you can see, it divides all those resources that are going into it evenly uh, by its need so when this ender barrel will actually hit 16 and there's no more space for it uh, it will start a new machine and when this machine actually hits 16 it will start a new machine and like on uh, here you can see it's actually crafting all those oh why do you have chunk borders uh, it's crafting all evenly right here so I am actually crafting the cap capacitors yeah you can see I'm crafting a whole bunch of them uh, because we are going to need them for those machines to work actually much more quicker so now you can see the progress is actually much more quicker so that's great and we can have actually even the power is keeping up uh, with the transfer node uh, but I would like uh, to switch to flux dose cryo stabilized the uh, flux duct um, yeah, cryo stabilized, stabilized flux stuck. And it actually can transfer infinite RF per tick. So those pipes are kind of bottleneck for those machines. And it would actually look pretty much cooler than with this uh, when we had, when we would have all those, uh, those. Uh, flux those 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 uh, cryo stabilized flux duct oh no I didn't mean to do that uh, so yeah it would look much more cooler than this and uh, we could even have it open up a little bit so yeah uh, I'm actually thinking about switching it but for switching it to something else we need to wire in this so let me oh by the way let me just explain how this works I've got the quantum ring right here so we are accepting all the data from our quantum rings and I've got here the orange channel 
and the orange channel is actually going into those uh, interfaces and they are feeding, feeding it in and uh, collecting items out so no problem with this and this is just the power so for our next task uh, I will just need to prepare something and then we can wire it in so let me just cut here and we are going to be right back alright guys so let's wire in this together so I've connected all those uh, interfaces together and from the top uh, let's configure this we want to input and input and actually we want to output at the bottom like so so we want to input and output and same this machine input output and let's just for now reset all those machines so there will be no input and outputs whatsoever so from the top we now want to put redstone in oh it's not putting the redstone in why not why not oh <clears throat> so let's do it different way let's do it with the yeah with the buses so I need my I need my branch and it's in this pouch I need my network tool uh, so let's lob all of this out like so and now we want the buses uh, the export bus yeah we've got four we will need a lot more so now we've got the export buses and uh, we want to put uh, nope not like that not li even like that no okay so let's put it in and now we want to have the acceleration cards and here glowstone acceleration cards and glowstone yes it's putting in great and here on acceleration cards and and actually we don't want a glowstone here we actually want a redstone we want to do the glowstone on the other side so let's take this off and uh, right here we want the ender pearl ender pearl and acceleration cards great so now if we connect power to this thing um, with the tesseract right and uh, pipe and I want this one and then this one so let's now put the test rack oh why i do not have my silk touch back uh let's put the test rack right here like so and we want the energy extraction pipe and for those top ones we want only energy pipes so we want to go like that like that like that and we actually want um the hyper energy node so let's grab like six i guess so we want to have it right here and 
and yes we can see what's so we want another one right here so this is the transfer node hyper energy and for this one we want to wire it with a normal transfer pipe so the transfer pipe will actually transfer it transfer the energy and we want speed speed upgrades like so and like so so right now we've got the power rain i guess not, not yet uh we want only power receive main base like that so now you can see it's actually putting here redstone and the ender so those machines will eventually fill up uh of course we will put uh, the augments right here but right now what we want to do with the uh with the redstone so uh, let's uh, actually take a look so with the redstone we want to make this the snowballs yes and uh, oh this is not good not good at all okay okay so i need the power somewhere else um because We want uh, retrieval nodes right here, and does it actually? So let's let's test it. Uh, on the top, we will have the input. Why it's not in? Putting in why it's not in putting in. Mm, nope, 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 nope. Uh, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Uh, Um, yes, I'm using the tanks. Oh, right. Right, right, right. I need those for toddle tanks. Right, that's right. So let's actually knock out those two. But I guess it should be working, right? It actually should be working. I'm not sure why it's not, but let's see. Um, let's grab those portable tanks. Uh, tank. Uh, portable tank. Uh, creative. Mm, hardened. Reinforce. Okay, so I guess. Oh, right. So I guess we can upgrade after. So let's take those. We can upgrade them uh, for sure. And let's put them right here. And how do I... I want to okay okay does thermal expansion have a branch oh branch okay so I guess I can use like my normal branch on it right right can I please 
All right. Yes, yes, that's right. So I want to do it like that. And here we will have the input. Great. So now we are inputting in. Let's knock those off. Uh, let's see input and like that, like that. Great. So right now we are inputting in uh, everything that will come from here. And that's great. So uh, the next thing that we want to test is we are having this. Yeah. So we want um, snowballs, snowballs. We've got a lot of them. And we want to put them in. So does it take? Okay, so through those retrieval nodes, we actually can transfer power. That's good. That's what I wanted to see. Right. So we want to configure this to be input. Right. And this to be input too. So now if we take if we take uh let's see we want this cable and we want the interface in here and we want the interface right here so if we break this and take the filter as yes, we've got plenty of those so let's take a four filters and we want oh this mess in my inventory so glowstone redstone I don't need this so if we take snowball and we take those two let's put a snowball right here and a snowball right here and we put this item filter in and in and take some speed upgrade speed let's say eight for each or nine for each Yeah, 16 and stack just to be sure just to be sure and we put this in put this in and now we connect this to the ME interface so right now uh, if we take uh, the snowball right here. Uh, oh, bliss power, and we want to input. Yes, down, input down, input down. So if we now do the pattern for it, so it's right here. So if we take a snow snowball let's say stack we get bliss powder stack I guess 16 so right now if we put this pattern right here and if we order bliss powder and let's say we want 200 so if this starts does it do anything and oh no it's not doing anything so this should put all the oh 
it's actually putting them in yeah it's actually putting them in I guess but no it's not putting them in uh, retrieval node oh no oh no it's not working it's not working as it should be uh, this node should actually yeah it's retrieval items put this put those items in here and I'm not sure why it's not working so let me cut right here and I will figure out what's wrong alright guys so I fixed the problem the problem was that uh, this interface uh, or those uh, terminal expansion machines actually cannot interact with those uh, retrieval nodes so I actually switched it and I put the recipe in those interfaces so right now I crafting I'm crafting those uh, bliss powder thing yeah like that so if we take a look we can see it's crafting all those uh, stuff up and uh, those pipes are actually and you know what what I can do to save up space I can actually put boards now should be now oh right I cannot put it right here but 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 I can I could extend this right here oh and I break oh I guess I didn't break it so I can extend this then cable uh, let's put it like that and up the top right here so now this should say four channels and four channels right and now we can put the I mean interface right here so this should now say five channels let's just wait for it yeah five channels totally nine channels and the retrieval node with the stack upgrade and some speed upgrades great so now we are crafting all those up so we wired in this and all we need to do is add some more on the other side so that's that's okay so so i accidentally <laughs> stopped you recording but never mind um i think guys that for this episode it will be it uh this episode will be longer uh, maybe I will do two separate episodes. I don't know yet. I, I just don't know yet. But uh, yeah, uh, in the next episode we will continue and we will finish all those things up. So we have a lot more to do. So we will finish actually up those things. And uh, yeah, uh, I've got plans uh, for the other episodes. No more, don't worry. We'll leave all this behind in a few episodes and then we can actually focus on something else. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, leave a like or comment or whatever you want and consider subscribing. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.